Rollo and News Channel 10 2. I'm David Lovejoy. Happy Tuesday. I'm Rhonda Lonert. And All I'm... right. Welcome. Go ahead, Chuck. Sorry I'm still it. Chuckalicious. <laughs> <laughs> Got all about Chuck there. I don't know how we did that. Uh, hmm. But, you know, when, when there's a disaster or there's some issue or strife or worry, uh, familiar things really help us out. And uh, this is a familiar thing to me. Uh, this group is called Blankets of Love, and they provide a warm double fleece blanket to approximately 20 nonprofit organizations. Uh, they provide blankets to Hereford. Of course, we saw the, this huge storm in Perryton. Um, whatever happened here in Emerald, the flooding we had in the spring, tornadoes, uh, they sold approximately 14,000 blankets since 2015. This year, they stand at 1,850. And they, they distribute to different organizations from the VA Hospice Unit, Ronald McDonald House, Catholic Family Services, Guy and Saunders Children, Protective Services. Uh, they're joining us today. We've got a, a great crew with us. We got Miss Thelma, we got Kathy, we got Tricia, we got Pat from Blankets of Love. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Welcome to y'all. Ladies, get down to brass tacks. Why the need for a fundraiser? The fleece has gone like 150% increase since last year or the year before. It just seems like every time we go to buy, to purchase uh, fleece, it has gone up so much more. So the fundraiser helps us to be able to purchase what we need. And so you you are able to purchase, you make the blankets, and then who do you serve with these blankets? We serve the 26 counties of uh, the Panhandle, and most of it does go here in Amarillo, but we also contribute to disaster areas. And mm -hmm. uh, so blankets are very much needed around mm -hmm. the area even. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, ladies, this. Uh, when you come in, when you give a blanket to a young child or someone who's in distress, uh, you've seen their expression. You've seen how comforting that is. Uh, what's the significance of it, and why did you guys choose blankets, of all things, to give away? Because of the need um, of the, our community. We have so many wonderful agencies and especially like the bridge. And mm -hmm. when a child comes in after their interview with law enforcement, they are allowed to pick out a blanket and a toy. And um, a child in a desperate situation needs some kind of comfort. And so do adults. They need warmth. And every blanket we deliver has John 316 on it. We never see the kids. So, um, oh, you never get to see the kids? No, we get reports back from those that do serve those children. Um, also, we get reports back from the Veterans Hospital, mm -hmm. their hospital mm -hmm. unit. And we've had the nurses come and talk to us and tell us how grateful these veterans are and their families to have a blanket. So we have uh, produced the branches of the service for a while, but that fleece has gotten so expensive that we've resorted back to just patriotic mm -hmm. red, white, and blue for our veterans. Right. And We deliver like to the missions downtown and sometimes we're delivering 50 to 100 blankets at a time. Wow, wow, so the need is there. There's the definitely need is definitely, yes. yes. Uh, they're having their fundraiser. Uh, it's at their seventh annual barbecue at Spicy Mike's. It'll be October 22nd, kick off at 11 a.m. and go till 2. Uh, Spicy Mike's is located at 6723 Southwestern. Uh, if someone wants to help out, somebody wants to donate or volunteer time, how can they go about doing that for Blankets of Love? Uh, you can contact me and uh, Thelma Martinez. And we do have a website, and that's um, uh, Blankets of Love Amarillo dot org. And then, do and you ladies sew every blanket? Y'all sew everyone by hand. Well, we surge them. 
which is we do Stitch sew them. around the edges. Yes. Yeah, we do this. Okay, you right. said yes, that. Yeah, yeah, and you know, there's always a process to everything. Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. there's a measuring that the girls that or the ladies that measure, then it goes to the ladies that pin and trim, then it goes to the serger. From the serger, it goes to the ladies that unpin and, and tuck the tail is what we say. <laughs> And then it goes to the ironing board where we put our labor label, you know, with John 316 and our logo. We have about 30 ladies that help us. Wow. That sounds... And this is all a volunteer basis? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, wow. every bit. How wow. long does it take to make one blanket? Oh, one blanket, approximately 30 minutes. Wow. Whoa. But we have several people that, we have several people that, that surge. Yeah. No. We get it going. It's an assembly line. Yes, I believe that. I'm just and listening. And we have fun. I'm just yeah. listening to the process that you go through, the pinning and this, that, and the other. I don't know. I just throw a blanket up over me. You know, what the heck? You know, <laughs> the thing, you know. The wow. labor of love. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I used to do the tie the, you know, tie the little fringe ones. I used to do that. But this this is way more advanced. Yeah. yeah. The little tied ones are dangerous for little kids. Sometimes mm -hmm. the people, especially Bridge and other places, have told us that those are not very compatible for mm -hmm. very small yeah. children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we That's make baby don't blankets. Don't do them anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We don't tie them. <laughs> yeah, but we're tied now. Well, Help and this out. is faster. You know, the productivity is a lot more when we surge them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can get them in and out. Help out this great organization, bring some comfort in a time of stress in somebody's life. Uh, those familiar things, a blanket to cuddle with, uh, to shelter from the storm, from the elements. And you can help out. Go to Spicy Mike's on uh, October 22nd from 11 till 2. If you've never eaten at Spicy Mike's, you don't know what you're missing, number one. Number this two. This Sunday. This Sunday. This Sunday. Uh, and it's a great chance. Open Sunday. So. Right. He's opening a special for you guys, right? That's yes. right. One time a year. Oh, cool. That is <laughs> so don't, cool. He donates his time cooking all those for us. Mm -hmm. That's it. So it's it's really a community thing. It's about the community helping the community, isn't it, ladies? Yes. It is. It is. You do a great job of what you do, and you can help them out by going to Spicy Mike's on Sunday. It's at 6723 Southwestern. Uh, they'll be there from 11 till 2. Uh, if you need more information, you can find them on Facebook. It is called Blankets of Love right here in Amarillo, Texas. Uh, it's a yeoman's job, but it is a much-needed service. Thank you, ladies, for what you do. Yes, sir. Thank yes. you for having Indeed. us. Thank you.